The FIFA Futsal World Cup continues apace. Third of four matches on the opening day today. It comes from Korat, the only venue outside of Bangkok, the Thai capital. Some four hours drive north, and it is Brazil, the defending champions and preeminent force in world football against the Japanese. Four titles to their name. Brazil, the most successful team in the history of the FIFA Futsal World Cup. Dominated the tournament's early existence. Won the first three World Cups. And uh, after a brief interlude when Spain took over, they returned to the summit four years ago, winning at home in Rio. Vinicius was the captain then. He's the captain this time round. Scored five goals. Eight survivors all in from the winning squad four years ago. Of course, you know the drill. Marcos Serrato will call on everyone in this squad to chip in at some stage with unlimited substitutions allowed. He is something of a futsal legend in South America, Marcos Aurelio Serrato. Japan, well, they have a, a mixed history in terms of final performances at the Futsal World Cup. Kawahara, widely renowned to be one of the strongest goalkeepers in this competition. Miguel Rodrigo, compatriot of Serrato's. Well, the Japanese are outsiders in this section, but you never know. A series of friendlies with the Brazilians earlier in the summer. But a real cause for encouragement. Some good performances by the Japanese. Got a draw and a late victory. Brazil in familiar yellow, green and blue. Getting us underway here in the Korat Chachai Hall. Always the team to beat, seems to be the way at any FIFA competition, doesn't it? Men's or women's, any age level. A great sight. The yellow shirts of the Selesau. Everyone being given a touch. Wild wearing 13. Ari. Vinicius, the captain. It's Ari. Great skill. Hoshi got back to him. One back, though, by Vinicius. Good shot straight away from Wild. It's just the tempo the Brazilians set. Japanese number nine there, Shota Hoshi, Kagure wearing ten is the captain. Vinicius just gets around the playing surface. Japan were present in the first Futsal World Cup back in 1989, but return home having lost all three of their first round matches. Shot from Ari, blocked. Japan, though, steadily improving. Our continental champions. Something of a surprise that they knocked Iran off their perch. The Iranians who'd won the AFC Futsal Championship in 10 of its previous 11 editions. So something of a shock with the Japanese Carried off the gold medal instead. Beat the Iranians in the final. Good low shot by Vinicius and well blocked by Kawahara. That was Henmi wearing 13. Very good low stop that. Agile keeping from Kawahara. Kagure, Japan's captain, ah, and that's a waste. Need to be more precious with set-piece situations than that we saw there.
Brazil won all four of their preliminary group matches four years ago. The format of the Futsal World Cup final slightly different. They've changed it around, surely for the better, for this 2012 edition. It used to be the case that a series of uh, sides went through from a, a first group stage into two groups of four in a second round. A bit convoluted, always better when it goes to knockout, I think. But Brazil topped that second round group as well, beating Italy, the aforementioned Iranians, and the Ukraine. Overcame Russia in the semi final, and then after a, a two all with Spain in the final, held their nerve better in the shootout, won 4 3 in Rio. Wild. That was Ari. Blocked away by Komiyama. Good defending that from Yusuke Komiyama. He was there four years ago, Ari. We await the uh, first appearance of the 15 goal top scorer from that victorious campaign in Rio. Falcao, watch out for him wearing 12. Brazil clearly the dominant force in futsal as they were for a time in beach soccer as well four consecutive World Cups before Russia stunned them in last year's competition last year's World Cup of beach soccer in Ravenna Not looking to bring the title back when we have the 2013 FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup. That'll be next November in Tahiti. Ari, and they clip it over the top. Oh, that's a good block because Wild was all poised there to give Brazil the lead. Strong pressure here from the Brazilians, Vinicius. And Japan throwing bodies in the way, though. It's getting the job done. There's Wild. Ari. Very patient here from the Brazilians. Vinicius. Such a busy striker, isn't he? Wild. time it was Ari tracking back lovely flick <laughs> here's Falcao the aforementioned top scorer from the victorious campaign four years ago Brazil one of the favorites for this FIFA Futsal World Cup are being held in the opening stages again by the Japanese Kawahara just throwing himself in front of the shot. They've brought on the Falcao to try and help them up front. That was Vinicius, the skipper, that time. So Vinicius takes the restart, tries to feed it into Simi, wearing eight. Here come Japan. Surprised that Brazil not off the mark already. I'm sure it will be too early for them to worry. That's three changes being made there by Marcus Serrato.
And then we need Neto. Oshi. Good block that. Good defending. They have had to do there. The fair share of defending in the opening 11 minutes here. They're just over a quarter of the game gone. Corner comes backwards, wearing 13 for Japan. Katsutoshi Henmi. Yeah, it's a shame, really, that uh, an attacking situation like that is forced backwards and results in absolutely nothing. Kagure trying to build from the back for Japan. Movement being found by Hoshi. Good play by Hoshi. Is he able to spin? Not quite. Tangling there with Nato. It comes back for Tiago, who got the Golden Gloves Award four years ago, voted the tournament's top keeper. They really don't concede a lot of goals, the Brazilian futsal team. 37-1 was uh, the goal difference in qualifying. Wilder. Morioka rolls again through to Thiago. Brazil were beaten once in qualifying. 5-3, extra time defeat to Paraguay. Never in danger of missing out on qualification for this competition. That was Ari. And they're refusing to be intimidated by the Brazilians' reputation here, Japan. Vinicius tries to set it up. It's Wilda. It's a deflected effort. The other two teams in Group C of this competition, Libya and Portugal. Let me able to see highlights of that match when we leave this one. Morioka. Oh, he tries to thread it through. Wilder took a tumble. Japan quickly into the opposition's half. Henmi tries to drag it across, but it's with Vinicius. And they're so composed in bringing it out from the back. Vinicius again. Wilder. Ari. Neto, and straight at Kawahara. Good hit, wasn't it? But straight at Hisa Kawahara. Now, difficult to know exactly the point at which, uh, you know, being slightly concerned turns into mild panic from a Brazilian point of view. This extraordinary winning run they're on. Find the Japanese difficult to break down though, Nato. Wilda. Blocked by Kawahara. And that was Kagure. No effort on target yet from a Japanese player. Vinicius. Ari. Wilder drags it across. Wilder, ball into space for Ari. And he pulled it. Defense, 
Ari plays it in, and Venezia's got in a bit of a tangle, falls to Wilder! That is the Brazilian breakthrough. Came off a Japanese foot on the way through, I think off Kaoru Morioka, but it was on its way anyway. And Hisa Kawahara is beaten at last, it just squeezed wide. And it's slotted through, isn't it, by Wilder? Yeah, it would have gone in anyway. There wasn't an awful lot Morioka could do to get out of the way. But having provided such steely resistance thus far, the Japanese are finally breached. Need to have a bit more belief in themselves attack-wise, I think. Great pace from Ari. Oh, that's off the upright. Nato thought he'd made it too. Delightful move again. Great pace from Ari. Gabriel. It's with Ari. Gabriel. Will that? Oh, opening here, Gabriel. Great piece of footwork initially to skip beyond Takahashi. He took it too near Kawahara. That's great skill. Not on that occasion, though. And we're going to see some more Japanese substitutions. Kagore, the captain, 13, Katsu Henmi. And then Karu Morioka. Fernandinho there, another survivor from 2008, wearing 10. He's just come on, that is Fernandinho. One of the shorter players in this squad. Well, that was Henme, and at last, work for Thiago to do. Nato. Simi, good spin. Fernandinho with the layoff. Gabriel. Prod on from Kazu Miura. Wondered when we were going to see him. And if the name sounds familiar, because it absolutely is familiar, in his mid-30s now, but he was a, a trailblazing Japanese player who went to Europe, one of the first to do so. And uh, had a limited amount of success, played in Germany for a while as his team uh, trying to defend the onslaught. Keeps coming and coming. Simi will take it. Layoff from Asodo. Watch out for Kazimura. He's wearing 11. There he is. Terrific to see a player who has achieved so much and been so well travelled. Just turning to futsal just to stay fit and give the national side the benefit of his knowledge. Interception here, and Rodrigo is through. Good challenge. Simi takes it up and then hits the shot to near Kawahara. And you can see why he's rated as one of the better goalkeepers in this competition. 
It's a Kawahara. Got quite a presence about him, and it doesn't go down that easily. Famous star jump goalkeeping techniques. Simi, well struck shot from Rodrigo. And whistled wide. And on from Osodo. Miura wants it, but it's going to come to Hoshi again. There's a player up ahead, Yusuke Komiyama, but it comes left. And a step over from Miura. There he goes, Miura. Yeah, won 90 international caps for Japan did Kazu Miura. Player who went to Santos and Palmeiras. And Miura withdrawn the last few moments of the first period here. Brazil, a goal upon Japan. Dominated the possession. They've been raining in shots on Isamatsu Kawahara's goal. But just that one effort to show for the troubles from Wilder. Japan had the best defensive record of any of the Asian qualifiers. Conceded just once in the final qualifying round. Just five in the qualifying competition. Full stop. Oh, really terrific hit, almost from nothing from Rodrigo. But still, they can't dig out this second goal. Really good thump, wasn't it? Three times now the Brazilians have hit the uprights. The reset from Katsu Henmi. Here he is again, Japanese number 13. Still going Henmi. Couldn't drag it across. Simi went with him. Thumped in by Henmi. Follow up shot from Kagure. Morioka. And no room. Fernandinho just trying to shackle Kagure to number 10s. And then poked away by Fernandinho. And a gather there from Thiago. You just get the feeling, really, that Brazil don't ever feel threatened. Defensively, coming close to this second goal. Where's it going to come from? Fernandinho that time. Kind of a bit off balance as he hit it, as the shot finally came away. First it was Simi. It kind of comes back and hits into Fernandinho. Last two minutes of the first half in Korat. Karu Morioka. Yeah, just clever defending from Rodrigo, not diving in. Keeping his opponent at arm's length. As Brazil are doing to the Japanese, I suppose, uh, overall thus far. Morioka 
No way through centrally. So it's the offload for Asodo. Morioka again. Hits the shot straight at Gabriel. Head me. Came through Takahashi. But the ball just trickles all the way back to Thiago. And then with Fernandinho. Simi moved it forward quickly. Nice looking step overs from Fernandinho. Falcao's been used sparingly. Japanese timeout called. One and only goal we've seen thus far scored by Brazil's Wilda. We certainly couldn't begrudge them it. But it was an important breakthrough that because things were beginning to get a little bit frustrating for Marcus Serrato's team. As you may expect, good Japanese support. In an attacking sense, there's only one team been in this. going to be able to enjoy even more of a regroup in around about 10 seconds time when we do resume. Brazil about 11 shots in this first half but it's yielded just the one goal and it came from build up midway through the first half. So Brazil have a lead over Japan, but it's by no, mean con no means convincing. Stay with us for these. Here we join us again at the Kurat Chachai Hall, one in Group C of the FIFA Futsal World Cup in Thailand. And it is Brazil against Japan here. Brazil are a goal to the good. Expected their dominance in terms of possession, in terms of shots, in terms of uh, attacking prowess, in terms of everything really, to have been translated into something more significant than the single builder goal that they do have. And nothing really from Japan coming forward. Yama gives it to Kawahara. Earning his corn today. Hoshi. Fine pass that from Thiago. So direct. Layoff though. It's a bit wayward for Nato. Wilda. Player who scored the goal. just don't really know what to do with it in those situations. The golfing class is beginning to look a little marked. 
Kenicho Kagore well, chastising his teammate there, presumably for not giving him any kind of option. And then clipped over by Vinicius. Nice idea, far side, Neto arriving. Second goal. Well, the merest slip, the merest error is... Uh, <laughs> well, it has the potential to be punished every time. A second goal for Brazil, and it's been coming. Look at that. Well, they enjoy enough time on the ball without it being given to them. The rare opportunities when they find themselves without it. So it is Nato making it 2-0 Brazil. You can see the look of anguish on the face of Kawahara. Knows that oh, Japan only had themselves to blame there. As if the Brazilians need assistance like that. Ari. Vinicius. Finally, Ari with the restart. Clip to the far side. Too much even for Wilder to do that. Hoshi, difficult to hold it up. And then Wilder too strong. And it's one back by his opposite number, Henmi. And then the captain, Kagore. He's pulled forward, hits Ari. Wilder! Oh, very nearly snuck in at the near post. Karahara slapping the save down into the ground and away again. Taking the corner quickly, and although it's come all the way back, won't be too long before the Brazilians are back over halfway again. Layoff from Nato, and then Ari. stats for once giving an entirely fair picture of things Milda, Nato Vinicius back with Wilda terrific movement Ari back to Wilda back of the net 3-0 Brazil wonderfully composed move I mean even when he was clear in front of the keeper there, Ari, still had the presence of mind to make sure of the goal. So there's Ari, lovely twisted pass. And a, a second goal of the match for Vilda, 3-0. And I don't think there'll be much coming back from this for Japan now. Yeah, timeout. Straight after the concession of that third goal. Great start for Wilder. Place for Barcelona. Three in this Brazil squad. At Barcelona, the uh, futsal team, the famous Catalan club. Ari being another. Those are the two that combined here for this third Brazilian goal. Ari uh, just determined to keep the move going. Always support for the man in possession. Brazil's coach, Marcus Serrato, uh, said before the competition that they're only going to take things step by step. They're not going to think too far ahead. I suppose it'll be all the others making the predictions on Brazil's behalf. It's going to take an almighty effort to block them.
That's better from Japan. Kitaro in Naba there, wearing 14. Biggest test for Brazil in this section. Surely going to be the Portuguese. That's the final group match. I uh, strongly suspect that both of those sides will be sure of their place in the last 16 before we get down to that. That's next Wednesday. Brazil next up against the Libyans on Sunday. Same that a Japan face Portugal. Rare loss of control from Ari. Caro Morioka here. And they've just switched it wide. Might be an opening into the side netting. You just don't really believe in Japan in an attacking sense. Vinicius. Oh, the interchanging is a real joy to watch. Wilder well, got it up. Wilder well, again. Ari. Nato. Delightful. Vinicius tries to slip it through for Ari. That would have been really something. He wouldn't have. Put it past him, connecting properly there and side-footing it into the top corner. That's how close it was to being a thrilling goal. Just make it all look so effortless, don't they, really? Inaba. Morioka back with Kataro in Arba. Takahashi. Morioka. Not getting him anywhere, this possession. Inalba desperately looking for some kind of spark ahead of the man in possession. But it's just not happening for Japan. Morioka will do with a foot in. You can see Brazil nicking the ball back and hitting them. And that's always the danger. Frustration getting to the man in possession because of the lack of options ahead of him. And then he resorts to just the hopeful, or indeed in some cases not so hopeful, long pass. Builder. Vinicius. Effort from Milda. Looking for his hat trick. Not going to get it there, though. Here's Vinicius. Oh, it snuck in. It's a fourth Brazilian goal. Again, you have to say a gift. And uh, it's a heavy-hearted person that doesn't feel a bit here for Isamitsu Kawahara, Japan's goalkeeper. That's a horrible mistake to make when you're already struggling, having done so much to keep the scoreline respectable from Japan's point of view. It wasn't going in, was it? No doubt. He will be credited with that. Vinicius, Brazil's captain, and immediately rewarded with a breather. Clip pass over the top by Hoshi. 4-0, I suppose. Minimum requirement, really, from a, a Brazilian match against clearly inferior opposition. They're looking for a fifth. Don't quite get it there. And the first introduction of Zhe, and that would have been something.
Miura's back on for Japan. Osoto. Just not getting any break at all. Could this be number five for Brazil? Nearly, but not quite. Simi was the left-sided option. There's always a choice of whether to switch it left or right when you have a player running forward with pace. And that time, Simi just couldn't round it off. Gabriel. And again, that was Jay. The return ball, Jay. Couldn't get there in time. And definitely worked out of trouble. Shota Hoshi. Naboya Osoro. Ochi tries to clip it to the far post. The gather, though, from Thiago. Je. And with it there, Je. The offload to Rodrigo. Comes back for Simi. Gabriel. Henmi, six, Osoto. Henmi. Here's Inaba. Room for the shot is there for Inaba. He's going onto his left foot now. Pick that one out. A terrific goal. It might be merely a consolation. But take nothing away from the quality of the hit there from Kataro Inaba. On the right foot, no room there, so why not try the other side? Well, had a Brazilian smash that in, we'd all be raving. That is superb, and it is 4-1 now. But 12 minutes to go, Japan can't seriously get back into this match, can they? That was Inaba again. It will give them a, a good degree of wind in the sails. Jay was joint top scorer in qualifying for Brazil. Here's Gabriel. Yeah, looking to push the ball into space, then running after it, but impeded by Kenichiro Kugure. Quite clearly impeded there by Japan's captain. An intimidating run-up, if ever there was one. It's going to be hit by Rodrigo, or is it? Not quite. It's a J! Again, a whisker away from another goal. 
Inaba. But too often, Japanese player carrying the ball over halfway tends to check back, and by that stage, you've lost the momentum. You've kind of switched the focus of the move, if you like, because at that point, players aren't running forward onto the ball. To gather by Thiago. Jay. Rodrigo. Jay with the turn. Angle was tight. And he still hit the shot at Kawahara. He looks lively, doesn't he? He's been used sparingly here. We'll see a lot more of Jay throughout this competition. And he got tougher tests ahead. Really good hit just wide from Gabriel. Goodness me, that was close. Very close indeed. Group C winners, as uh, everyone expects Brazil to be, will uh, have an interesting time of it in the uh, next phase. The reward for that is play a, a third place side from one of three groups, A, B, or F. Could be anyone. Could be Thailand, that. Could be Spain. Somehow doubt it. Feel sure they'll meet later in the tournament. Kogore. Gore again. But they're not going to do Brazilians any damage from way back here. Henry, deflected shot. Bounces into Thiago, who sends Jay away. Where's the yellow car going to go? You never know these days with the referees. Apparently, uh, being told to be a little bit less lenient on simulation. It did look, though, that Shea was impeded, lost his balance. Well, he was pushed. Brazil are heading for their 42nd win in the uh, FIFA Futsal World Cup Finals. In their 50th match, they've lost just three of the previous 49, and it's an extraordinary record. They have this free kick for the shove on Jay. Hit by Vinicius. Well, dummy it, in fact, and left for Rodrigo. Something of an anti-climax, really, when it came down to it, that. Well, dare I say it, the Brazilians just... Getting a little more, bit more ragged, it's all relative. The Brazilians playing ragged futsal is far better than anyone else's tip-top condition. Morioka, and again. You might have a bit joy against lesser teams. Certainly Kataro Inaba's had a shot on him, hasn't he? But they haven't had a, a real genuine target man. Not like a, a little earlier, as we saw with Superwat Tunklang, who had an excellent match for Thailand, leading the line, if it's possible to do such a thing in futsal. Morioka. With a Sodo. Brazil never in danger of giving a penalty away. Japan, three fouls away from doing exactly that. Ari back on. So too the captain Vinicius there wearing seven. Ari. NATO anchoring things there. Give and go from NATO. The 
but couldn't bring it under control. Tetsuya Murakami. Murakami again. Asodo, layoff from Komiyama. Another accumulated foul. They're edging ever clearer to relinquishing a uh, penalty kick. It's a free kick. Nato eventually with the effort, follow up from Vinicius. <laughs> Lifted over the top into Vinicius. Drops for Ardi. Ah. Ratio of one every four shot, fourth shot on target going in. And uh, I suppose they'll settle for that on opening day. Just trying to work their way through. It was Vinicius in NATO that time. Three on two. Is this number five for Brazil? Not quite. Ari, Venetius back into Ari. Just the merest nick on it from Hoshi did enough. Yeah, the best the Japanese can do really is uh, put this one down to experience. They just don't look like they've got the belief that they can possibly break Brazil down. Yes, OK, they scored a fine goal with Guitaro Inaba's strike, but kind of freakish moment, really, in that uh, the Japanese player sort of had the belief in that split second to turn and look for a gap and just hit it. Kind of... Self-confidence that's been lacking, really, from their performance overall today. Hizari, Vinicius, three more replacements ready to come on for the Japanese. That was in for Vinicius, Rilda. His two goals got everything up and running for the Brazilians. There he is again, disguise pass for Vinicius, that was Rilda. No foul from Henmi. Morioka. Both teams just going through the motions in truth. Inaba. 
And his goal was a real moment of wonder for Japan. Now Takahashi. Inaba. Morioka back for Inaba. Just not happening. Gabriel. That was Ari. It's Gabriel. Will that? Gabriel, if you're going to hit it, thought better of it. Comes back from Rodrigo. Nato for Wilder. There goes Wilder. Jersey was clearly being tugged. And the referee spotted that from Murakami. Some run up again from Simi, but it's disguised in the trailing leg of Vilda. I'm sure, the intention was to divert it goalwards. Naboya <laughs> Osoto. Well, big learning experience for these teams that maybe dominate or indeed are, are very strong in their own region. But the step up is what it's all about when you test yourself against the very best. And there's no doubt that Brazil are that. Let's not forget Portugal to come for the Japanese too in this section. Portugal, Libya, the other two teams in Group C. Highlights of that to come after this, remember. Morioka. Inaba. Go on, you just want to sort of urge him to have a bit of a run and shot again. Osodo. Back with Morioka. And then Hoshi might be only one way to go there. Oh, they've given it away. Goalkeeper to the rescue again. Sliding in was Rodrigo. Still no fifth goal. Fernandinho. Good save again. Not once, but twice. First from the shot. Second from the follow-up header from Gabriel. Kawahara takes real marks from this performance. Just a, a shame that there was that mistake as he let Vinicius's shot slip through. But how many has he kept out? But for him, it could have been double figures for the Brazilians here. Kept in by Morioka. Well, there you go. Four goals from 19 shots. 19 shots on target.
Well, in truth, this match was over 10 minutes ago. There's been no scoring since. Japan haven't really looked like they believed they could eat into this deficit any further. And the Brazilians, I'm sure, would have loved more goals, but they haven't got any more, so their attitude is very much never mind. Morioka. Otsu. Morioka with a shot. Got really under it. At least it was a shot, though. Well, that carried all the way over the top. The Japanese are furious. And that's not going to be allowed. Well, that would have been something right at the end here. But it isn't going to be a fifth Brazilian goal. Lifted right over the top, yeah. I don't think the referee's whistle had gone there. The turn resulted in nothing from Katsutoshi Henmi. One Japanese player to be yellow carded here. I'll have to watch that with the tougher task to come. The Brazilians just too good. What more can you say? Better movement, better technique. All used clearly to winning futsal matches at big international competitions. The defending champions have made the start they might have wanted on another day. And for a less inspired performance by an opposing goalkeeper, they would have run up a cricket score. But four goals is the tally at the end of their opening match in Group C in this 2012 FIFA Futsal World Cup. Filder with a couple, Nato with one, Venetius with one, Kataro Inaba with a consolation for Japan. Fine effort. As it was, it never really threatened to change the trajectory of this match. Brazil just way too good and already laying down a marker. We'll be seeing Libya and Portugal, the other two teams in Group C of this first round of the FIFA Futsal World Cup, after the break to come. Brazil, the defending champions, off to a flyer with a 4-1 win over the Japanese.